hey guys welcome back to my channel so if you want to know how i um prepped this locks you can check out my previous video or i'm going i'm just gonna link it up in the cards so um today's video i'm gonna is a continuation of the last one i'm just gonna be showing you how i installed my locks if my voice kind of sounds crunchy please pardon me i kind of feel crunchy <laughs> Anyways, um, I used a total of five packs, guys. I said this details or this information in the last video, but for some reason, I also got um, questions about how many packs I used. I used a total of five spring twist for both um, the making of the locks and the installations. And um, I used two kinky twists and one camera braids. So for this... Um, for this particular um, lock installation, I tried a different technique from what I've been using all this while. So I decided to braid my short hair. If you guys, um, if you've been um, watching me for a while, you know my hair has actually grown. And I'm so excited. So the last time I tried locks, I definitely couldn't braid it. But this time, I can braid my hair. So yes, um, this is one of the advantages of getting locks. It actually stretches your hair and you will see significant growth. So, yes, um, I braided my hair with, um, I use a rubber band, definitely. And then I braided my hair with um, the spring twist hair this time around. So, usually I just braid my client's hair and then just, you know, crochet it in. But this time around, you know, I just braid with the kinky twist hair. And also, if you want to see the other method, you can also check out my previous videos. And I, I can also link them up in the cards, too, if you want to see. So guys, in this method, I would start by crocheting the spring to's hair I used in braiding. And then since my hair is short, I don't have to do a lot of wrapping. I just use the same hair that I used to braid my natural hair. The same spring twist I used to braid my natural hair. I would crochet it into my roots and then use that particular hair to wrap. So if you've seen my previous um, videos... Of installation you will know this is quite different from what I usually do and I think I would adapt this tr style or I would probably try this style on a client to see how it turns out for people who have you know, you know like really long hair so yeah this worked for me and this was really fast this um, the installation took I think it took about three hours because I think the only tedious thing when it comes to locks is just getting the parts done. Once you get the parts done, I think the other, you know, the wrapping part just goes by um, really fast. So this installation took me like um, three hours. I would just say three hours. And for the locks prepping, I really don't know because I did that like the whole day. I would just go do something else, come back. I think I did a client's head and then I came back. So that's like the good thing about prepping the locks because you can do it with, within a period of time for those who work. So you can go to work, come back, do a couple strands, go to work, come back, do a couple strands. Then when you're finally ready or, you know, you know, you're satisfied with how many locks you have and then you can just install it and, you know, save time and a lot of energy. As you can see, guys, so I... After I 
wrap with the um, spring twist I used to braid my hair. I would also go um, go over it with an, um, a little um, a little strand of spring twist just to give extra security. And yes, like I said, I had a total of thirty six locks. That was the first the first set I did. But then I didn't know that I parted my hair into 39. So I had to make extra three locks. So I had a total of 39 locks. If you know me, you will know I do not like to have so many locks. On my client, I would have nothing more than 46. And I don't think I've ever done locks up to 50 on my client before. Um, but I have. The last locks I had were like 50 something. And as time went on, I realized that they were actually kind of too bulky. So this time around, I was like, no, I'm just going to keep it simple and really, you know, light. So I went for 39 locks. And um, yeah, that's actually what I recommend. Nothing more than 46 because locks can tend to be quite heavy when they're too much. That's why I always recommend bigger parts because these days I see a lot of um, stylists doing like bulky um you know locks i do bulky locks sometimes for my client you know depending on how big um the client's head is or how you know the client's head mass so sometimes you know bulky locks fit some client's head but then also remember that your parts also have to not be so big but you know be a moderate size instead of small because if you do bulky size and then little parts it's just gonna be too much too much so um and that's just for me that's what i think that's what i recommend you might have you know a different opinion to it and that's totally fine as well Yeah. Mm-hmm.
So guys, like I've said before, if you're ordering my locks, you know my locks are adjustable. You can always, you know, push them down and push them back up for those who want to do like um instead of the individual um installation you want to do like the crochet yes you can always push them back and also push them back up you know just to secure when you're done installing so yeah if you want to um purchase my locks i'm also going to put a link to my etsy account and um you can also send me like um if you want like a you want to make a specific order request you can also send me a message on there or you can also just send me a dm and um yeah we can take that from there So the first thing I do is, wait, let me, so the first thing I do is, I put my hair down to the back, just like this. You also going to need like, um, a fabric or whatever you have. I hope y'all can see this. Make sure it's flat out of there. So guys, I also put my braids up like this. Let me put this up a little. Yeah, so. Hopefully this is done well. So I also put my braids up like this, but. So if you want it to look more, you just get like two or three. And then you just wrap it around the fabric to cover it up then it just looks really high you know there you go there you go <laughs> thank you for watching my videos
thank you for watching this video. If you like oh my pants, come down, come down. If you like this video, hit the thumbs button. Subscribe to my channel. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. If you like this locks, sis, go shop. And also, I'm going to link my Etsy account down in the description. If you want to purchase a lock, please let me know. No, you don't even have to let me know. Just purchase it. You can choose any color on there. But if the color you want in my... Okay, let's say you want blue. But I do not have blue on my Etsy account. You can always send me a message. Hi, I made a purchase. But instead of a 1B, I want a red or green or purple or yellow. Even though I don't do yellow. So just let me know, okay? Just let me know. Just let me know so we can slate together. together. And if you end up doing the locks yourself, just send me a picture. Whew, I have a lot of pictures and videos and DMs from people trying it out. And it's working for everybody that's trying it out. <laughs> so let me know in my DMs. Okay, sis? Okay. <laughs> Why am I happy? I don't know. Because I'm alive, okay? And yeah. What else? Okay, at this point, I got nothing more to say. So I'll see you in my next video. We got to go look for a nice bombast thumbnail. So.